Welcome back everyone to Luna, the greatest indie game that for some reason only I am covering. Today we are continuing our story in the Deko Doku Daku Forest. We are trying to get the frog gem on top of this person to hopefully save both the worlds. The worlds of the sleep whatever world and our own. So here we go, we need some flowers. Ah, greetings! What brings you all the way out here? It's quite dangerous, you know. I could say him to save the you. Well, as you can see, I'm a botanist, and I can't just stay away from these flowers. I've been studying them for quite some time now. There's no one here who knows more about these flowers than I. Alright then. Well, all the flowers seem to be dead, or at least some on this side. It's a dead flower. But on this side, they are alive. So, we have to find... I forget what kind of flower because it's been a while since I recorded the last episode. Mm, it's a flower. Pick the flower. Sure. We're going to pick this one. Did we do good? Are you mad at us for picking this flower, sir? This world's vegetation is truly something spectacular. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask, but I can't ask you what kind of question. I need to know which one's a uh, daffodil. I think that was it. Here you go. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. I know what you. I forgot all the buttons. Show. Oh, you have a flower? It's a daffodil. Perfect. Wait, there's no dew on this daffodil. I told you, a drop of dew from a drab daffodil. Oh, whoops. A drop of dew from the drab daffodil? Okay, let me go get a drop of dew from the drab daffodil, whatever that means. Is it over here? What is this? Is this a drop of dew? Uh, this tree is really silver. Uh, I can't drop a dew from the drab daffodil. But why is it silver? What's going on over here? Hello? A lamp flickers intensely. It's mesmerizing. Uh, I just came here to throw away some trash, but for some reason I just can't leave. The light, it flickers for you. Okay, so... I'm a little bit lost. So... Hello there. Ah, Luna, we meet again. It seems fate really likes intersecting our past. I mean, we're both doing things in the forest. It's not really that unusual. Well, <laughs> is that so? How unromantic of you. I guess. Do you know how to get the drop of the, the, the for the dapadoo? The drop of dapadoo? I'm looking for a drop of dapadoo. There's a spell book open on the spell. Beginner spells, magic, sp huh? Spiral strength, sp. Okay. It's a wood cutting axe. You pick it up. Oh, a wood cutting axe. I think I know what to use that for. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's use this wood cutting axe on this tree. Well, here goes nothing. Ow! My arm! Oh god, what the hell? Oh. Hey, what the hell is your problem? That freaking hurt! You just hit me with an axe! Oh god, I'm sorry. I had no idea you were even alive. Wow, really? Great, gee, thanks. I feel so much better already. Not? Do you have any idea how bad that hurts getting chopped by an axe? How would you like it if I chopped your arm off while you are sleeping? Look, I said I'm sorry, I just need to get to the other side. Yeah? And your first idea was to maim the thing standing in your way? What the hell is wrong with you? Okay, look, Tree, I just need to get those flowers behind you. So if you just let me go through, I'll be out of here before you know it. And just let you rampage around the forest with an axe? I don't think so. I'm going to stop you right here and now, you crazy axe murderer. Not a tree. <laughs> All right. Tall, tall tree. I completely forgot how to play. How do I shoot? Okay. Got it. So we just got to make sure we are lined up kind of in the center. And fire. Recharge. Keep on shooting. And we should be good. How do I do a bomb? Okay, bomb. Okay, we're just going to use one just because. Apple surprise. Ooh, I like apples. Oh, gotcha again. A lot of leaves. Don't throw a lot of leaves at me. Oh no, I'm so scared. Yeah, break. Bomb. Destroy all the leaves. Good. And... Almost done. You're pretty strong, but I'm not letting you go after a sneak attack like that. It was a misunderstanding. Looks like I'll have to get serious. Let's see if you can survive this super attack. Uh... Stop right there. Stop fighting this right this instant. Huh? You two should be ashamed of yourselves. But no excuses. But she used to- You two could have harmed these poor flowers. We have to respect nature. But I am nature. Apologize and make up right now. Uh, uh... Sorry, maybe I was jumping to conclusions. 
Yeah, maybe the axe was a little extreme. I don't really know what got into me ever since the forest got changed. My head's been all sorts and screwed up. Shouldn't have dragged you into it. It's all that human's fault. Those evil humans transforming our world. What point is there in ruining our lives with their twisted fantasies? I fail to understand the human's motivations as well. But as long as you two understand, no more fighting near the flowers. Okay, well. Thanks for letting me by. And now, this one's a little moist. It's a flower. Let's pick it up. Ah. We got the drop a daffa do drop a do a do a do a do a do Okay, here you go. Oh, that's a dew covered daffodil. You found one. You found one. Put it in the cauldron. All right, already. Calm down. Okay, so what else did we need besides a drop a do from the daffa daffodil? That was so bright, my eyes. Come on, what's next? Uh, one second, let me check. The next ingredient is a cup of silver tree sap. Is what it says. Only found in the glimmering silver tree of the Dekadu forest. The rare sap is deliciously coveted by the most dedicated of sweet lovers. A single drop is powerful enough to kill a man from his sugar content alone. Whoa, sounds like it'd be to die for. <laughs> so, uh, any idea where to find the silver tree? Hmm, well, there are lots of trees here. It's a forest, alright. Heh, <laughs> only if you could ask the trees for help. I guess I'll just look around the forest until you see it. Okay. I'm pretty sure I think I already know where this silver tree is. It's like right here, all sparkly and stuff. Ooh, this tree is really silver. Yeah, so let's uh, use a cup. You slam the gas glass against the tree, the glass shatters. No, I wanted to like scoop it or something. Okay, so how do I get some sap from this tree? Sap? Use a spile. I think I have an old one lying around here somewhere. It's yours if you find it. A spile, you say? Is this a spile? It's an old spile. You pick up the spile. Okay. It's a large wooden bucket. There's a hole in the bottom of it. Not very useful bucket it is. Oh, you can only pass through. Ah, I see. Okay, so let's use this spile to tap. You attempt to force a spile into the tree. The tree is too metallic. The spile won't go in. Okay, so what if we go like this? We use this. You force the spile into the tree. There's some silver sap dripping out. But you don't have anything to put it in. Where do I get a thing to put it in? Okay, so I went back and got another piece of glass. We're gonna go ahead and tap this. There's some sap dripping out. Oh, silver sap. You fill the cup with the sap. Okay, we got it. Now let's bring that back to the witch. And I'm not sure if there's anything else we need to bring. That should be it, right? Here you go, I got your sappity silver. Oh wow, the sap is really silver. It's shimmering like a silver metal. Heh, <laughs> guess it suits me perfectly. Well, go ahead and drop the cup in. What, the cup too? It doesn't say not to drop the cup in. Oh uh, well, alright, I guess. You drop the entire cup of sap into the brew. Alright. Ow, that was so bright. Again, uh, I feel dizzy. Again. Maybe try closing your eyes next time? So what's next? Um, one second. Please wait warmly. Uh, the next ingredient is a, a cup of deadly mushroom, is what it says. A cap? Wait, I've seen tons of mushrooms already. That'll be easy. No, 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 no. It's one of a kind. Well, that sounds impossible. I wouldn't be so sure of that. This cookbook, I mean spell book, <laughs> says some peculiar things about it. With alcohol running through its lamella, the mushroom speaks with the tongue of a manna. The one of a kind mushroom that only dwells in Dokodeku Forest. I'm not sure what that means. But that sounds awfully specific. That does sound like it would be easy to find, right? Right? Now off you go. Hee <laughs> hee! My perfect potion is coming closer to fruition. What kind of potion is this anyway? What am I even hoping you make? Uh, well, uh, it's a... Uh, a love potion. Seriously? Not one I was expecting at all. Oh, it's so embarrassing to say out loud. Oh, never mind that. A witch has her reasons. I just need that mushroom cap. And for you not to be so nosy. Okay, I actually know exactly where to go to get this. Okay, there's a ton of mushrooms here, and there's a mushroom guy. Oh, mushroom cap, is this you? Ah, uh, we meet again. It would seem our fates have finally intertwined. Oh, what do you mean? I've been expecting you. Now, please, what can I do you for? Are you familiar with these mushrooms? Familiar? Haha, <laughs> I'm more than familiar. My soul is one with the mushrooms. I am their voice, for they cannot speak. Works for me. Uh, are you a mushroom? An excellent question. Care to share the reason for your inquiry? I need a special mushroom cap with the witch's potion so that I can take a nap. I mean, uh, save the world. Hmm, 
very well. What? Really? Yes, really. There's only one deadly mushroom cap in this forest, and it happens to be in my possession. Wow, that makes it a lot easier. However, I cannot simply give it to you. I must entrust it with someone who is worthy. Should you best me in a battle, I shall deem you worthy. It always goes back to that, doesn't it? You may prepare if you need. I, it's time to fight. Alright, let's get this over with. Very well. The sword can cut through the toughest of caps and flesh. The blade is made out of the finest spores thrice folded. Doesn't sound too dangerous. Shall we put that theory to the test? Okay, let's find the fight the mushroom man. I pray your fighting spirit isn't as tense as your glare. I think I'm just squinting because I'm so tired. Warriors like us must prove ourselves through battle. Now please, show me your determination. What does that mean? Oh, you destroyed that. Okay. So we got another battle versus the Mushronin. Can we beat him? Most likely. <laughs> okay, fungal cage cutter. First wave done. So we just have to pretty much avoid his lightning fast sword swipes. No swiping at me, man. Okay. Easy. Okay, another one down. What do you got next? My old... What? Like, there's almost nowhere to go. Oh, I guess I can stay in one of these little squares. It's not too bad. Not too bad until you get hit. Bubble popper. What bubble popper? My bubble? You're gonna pop my bubble? I don't think so. What is that? What is that? I'm about to die. No joke, I'm about to die. I wasn't even really paying attention. Can you stop? Can you stop hurting me, man? I just want your... I just want your mushroom cap. Okay. Come on. We're almost there, too. Almost there, too. There we go. Ha! You are a formidable opponent. Surely I can entrust fate to you. Yes. <coughs> Here. Take it. Do you even have a head? You just gave me your face. You got the deadly mushroom cap. Well, this is the end of my story. Please, be kind to the mushrooms in my absence. Take care, young warrior. You literally just died. All right, well, we got the mushroom cap. That's great. <laughs> so let's go ahead and bring this cap to the witch. All right, we're going in. Hello there, witch. I heard you want one of these things. Oh, could that be? It's a deadly mushroom cap. Oh, it's rather dreadful. Well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and toss it in. I know the drill. Now close your eyes so you don't get blinded once again. Oh, it didn't flash super bright this time. Ow, oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh, forget it. Let's just move on. We gotta be almost done by now, right? Yes, yes, we're almost there. Only two more ingredients left? All our hard work is paying off. Our hard work? Yes, that's what I said. Whatever, what's the next? Oh, oh dear. I must warn you, this next ingredient will be the toughest of them all. This will be your most frightening encounter. I have no idea what such a dangerous ingredient would be necessary. Can you stop hamming it up and just tell me the ingredient already? A lock of hair from a vampire. Oh, cool. Uh, are you, are you so petrified you can't even speak? Nah, this one sounds easy. Easy? This is a vampire we're talking about? They're one of the most dangerous creatures ever. They'll suck out your blood and feed on your life force. And, and, and they're so rare. The book says there's only three in existence. I'll be fine. Well, you seem really confident. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, good thing we've made friends with a vampire already. Who happens to be right up here. Oh, hey. I just need your hair. Ah, Luna, we meet again. <laughs> You look quite serious. Is there some matter troubling you? Can I have a lock of your hair? Well, um, that's an awfully particular request. But I ask the reason for such a bold request. Tell the truth. Well, well, is that so? To be honest, witches and potions are beyond my knowledge. Vampires are all powerful, not all knowing. But you have such a serious expression. I trust you, Luna. I have no qualms with supplying a few strands. Really? That's great. Thanks, so... Wait a second. I just remembered. Vampires aren't supposed to give things away so freely. The vampire manual said so. Oh. 
But a trade of equal value shouldn't be no issue. A trade? Fwet, indeed. A trade should be more than sufficient. I guess that seems fair. What do you want? Fwet, how about? Ah, I've got it. An item beautiful and coveted. A rose. A single rose is all I require. Well, what say you? A fantastic deal, is it not? I suppose that's manageable. Oh, excellent. It's a deal. Let us shake hands to commemorate this occasion. Alright. You shake hands. Her hand is icy cold. Okay, we already know where the rose is, so this is gonna be really easy. Uh, involved. What? Nothing to say? Are you even listening? What? I just got here. <laughs> Are you serious? Ahem. I see you've made a little friend in your time here. He's really gonna try to play that off, huh? Uh, do you mean Celine? Vampires are the second rarest inhabitant of this world. Were you aware? Yeah, there are only like three of them, right? Ah, very close. Very close indeed. There were only three, but now there are four. The vampire you have associated with is but a fledgling, and yet a vampire is still a vampire. She is far more dangerous than you have ever encountered. It's only a matter of time before she turns on you. Pfft, you kidding me? Selene is harmless. Don't be so sure of yourself. No matter how beautiful, every cactus has its thorn. Uh, I think you mean every rose has its thorn? What? What is a rose? Re really? It's like a red flower with thorns on it? Interesting. But still, be careful whom you involve yourself with. What are you planning over there? Anyway, let's go get that rose. Okay, we got the flower. And... Here you go. Where could this be? Yep, a thorny rose. Incredible. Well, here you go. You hand the thorny rose to Celine. Fue, it's quite stabby. If you're not careful, you might prick your finger like I did. Heh, <laughs> what an interesting object. Fue, there's some red sauce affixed to his stabber. Oh, that must be when I pricked my finger. Celine licks the substance off the thorn without a second thought. Fue, what an incredibly flavorful sauce. Well, you fulfilled your end of the deal, so now it's time for me. Uh, Celine? Well, what is this feeling? I feel so, so hungry. Hey, snap out of it. Luna, you've got more, right? Right? I can smell it coming from you. Uh, not you too. Just a small taste, okay? Okay, just a small taste. That strange red sauce. I need more. Oh, uh, no. The fight is now. Oh, Selene. I didn't want it to have to come down to this. But we gotta take down our good old friend, Selene. Never trust a vampire. Especially if you're a human with blood. Or anything with blood. Okay. One more hit. There we go. Vampire missed the body. Okay, why is it so hard to hit Selene right now? Come on, stop moving. Okay, we have to hit Celine when Celine isn't moving. Because our bullets are literally trailing behind them. Okay, recharge, shoot. Wait, recharge, shoot. Dodge. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. I barely even damaged Celine. Got it. Killer bats. Alright, we're halfway there. Of course, my health is almost gone, so. Avoid the killer bats. What does that mean? Actual bats. You're throwing actual bats at me. The bats are throwing bats. They've gone insane. The bats have gone insane. Oh my god, no. Thing, bomb, blow. Thing, bomb, blow. I have a sliver of health. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Two more phases. Two more phases. And we got this. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Last phase. Oh my god. What is happening? 98 mile an hour fastball. Why are you a baseball player? I didn't know vampire. Vampires were baseball players. Oh my god. Bomb. Bomb now. Bomb now. Bomb now. No, 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 no. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. Almost there. 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 Okay. Okay. We did it. We did it. No blood for you. Wow. She sure is tough. And what's up with that? Falling asleep right away? I'm very jealous. Oh, she ain't dead. Okay. Whew. Maybe she forgets uh, how our blood tastes. Hey, how you doing? I'm not. I'm, I got something to do. <laughs> Here you go. 
I got the, uh, wait, I don't got the hair. I forgot the hair. I'll be back. Hey, you pull a strand of hair from Selene's head. This much should be fine, right? It better be. Okay, here you go. Oh, is that, could it possibly be? Yep, from a vampire? <laughs> yep. Wow, you're amazing, Luna. You're super cool. Ah, uh, shucks. Well, go ahead and drop it in. Oh, I'm finally excited. It's almost going to be finished. All right. You put the hair into the cauldron. Ah, I closed my eyes this time. <laughs> uh, sniff. There, there. Oh, forget it. Let's just finish this. All right, all right. What's the final ingredient? Well, let's see. Oh, the final ingredient. This one's easy. Well, what is it? The crimson eye of a pale maiden. My eye? Uh, oh, you already have one. Perfect. Hey, wait a second. What are you waiting for? Toss it in. No. Oh. What? What do you mean, no? I mean, I'm not giving you my eye. But it's the final ingredient you promised. No way. This is fishy no matter how you spin it. I'm not giving you my only eye for your stupid potion but but i i'm a, i'm a, you are i'm a, <laughs> oh god don't start cackling that's never a good sign you're just looking down on me aren't you i wouldn't go that far you've just been toying with my feelings haven't you you think you could just go back on our deal well yeah it's a terrible deal mitchy keeps me safe and happy I was never going to give you him anyway, uh, Mitchy. Oh, forget this. I should have just taken it with force from the beginning. There's no way you could take me. Just hand it over. Heh <laughs> heh. Maybe not in your current state, but that can always be changed. I'm going to knock you down a peg. Heh <laughs> heh Let's see how you look after this. Hey, knock that off. Voodoo I voodoo D. Become as tiny and as insignificant as me. What is happening? Hee hee hee. Uh. We're tiny. Ow. Head hurts. Huh? I was just asleep. It doesn't feel like I got even a little bit of rest. I guess that stupid rabbit guy really was telling the truth. I want to punch him. Hmm, this isn't a dream, right? Things have been weird lately, but this is pretty much takes the cake. Oh, whatever. It's time to kick the witch's butt talks. <laughs> okay, giant invisible ink bottle. We're on the table. We can't change, but we can save. Huge, large witch table. We're gonna go ahead and end off the episode here, and we will continue on in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Links for.